hey 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 welcome if you are new here or welcome back if you have been here before i am freya this is budgie budgets and today is sunday which means that we will be doing a cash unstuffing a budget with me and a weekly check-in <clears throat> first i am going to talk about some etsy products if you are not interested in the products you see here um, feel free to skip ahead i will put a time marker in the um I will put a time marker in the description below, but I think probably skip ahead about 13 minutes or so. And then we should be getting into the regular scheduled programming of budget with me and cash on stuffing weekly check-in. Guys, forgive me. I do have a shocking headache this morning. Um, I am feeling better. I was like achy and fluey last week. I only lasted a day or two. Um, I am on the mend. I just um, dislocated my shoulder last week and um, it did not go back in properly. It has gone back in, but I think I've, I don't know, I've damaged a tendon or a ligament or something <laughs> in the process. So I have been holding my arm funny, which is putting a strain on my neck, which is giving me a rotten headache. So <laughs> bear with me. I can't get into my physio for a few weeks. So I'm just gonna have to live with it for now. Um, ah, the joys. Okay, <laughs> so today we are starting with um, some Etsy information. Uh, I have had so, so many queries, comments, DMs, messages on Etsy about when these two are going to be listed again. So um, obviously the Christmas binder went up last week and you guys snapped those up lightning fast. Um, so I am going to, the reason I'm doing them both at the same time is because I think there are a few people who are interested in both and I don't want you to have to pay postage twice. So I'm gonna list them at the same time so that you're only paying one lot of postage. They will both be for pre-order. Um, so the Christmas one you guys have obviously already seen. Um, it's already been listed. Those of you that missed out, it will be going back up. Um, yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory is what it is. <laughs> comes out comes. Um, <clears throat> and then we have the Crystal Collection. So both the Crystal Collection and the Christmas binder will come with a Budgie Bucks IOU. Um, I will be corner rounding them. I haven't done this one yet because it, it was just the first one that I made just for my use in here. <laughs> but I will corner round them uh, just because I don't, I don't like sharp laminate, you guys. <laughs> the edges are so sharp. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, they'll each come with one of those. Um, and then, sorry, just let me clear my throat. Okay, I have cleared my throat. I've had a drink. Let's try again. So the crystal collection, I'm going to preface this by saying I probably won't have photos of everything ready for the listing um, because this was not my plan. I was not going to, I was going to wait until I had them kind of all ready, but I did a poll on Instagram yesterday and from the people who I've already spoken to, it does definitely seem like you guys are much keener on the idea of a pre-order so that you know you've secured yours um, and are happy to wait the four to five weeks for me to make them and get them posted out to you, which is totally fine. Totally fine. If you guys are, as long as you guys are happy to wait, you know that it's going to take that long for me to make them. That's fine by me. Um, yeah, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't really matter to me either way. Um, so as, yeah, as long as you guys are happy to wait, that's the only stress point for me is that I get nervous that people are like, you know, chomping at the bit for their orders to arrive because I know what I'm like when I order something, I'm like, come on. Um, but yeah, they do obviously take time for me to make. I am a little bit of a perfectionist in the things that I make. Um, so I, yeah, I don't want to rush anything. So with all that being said, <laughs> the crystal binders will come out. There will be a set, there will be three of them. So you can choose between a 5K, a 2.5K and, and a 1K. So this one is obviously the 5K. This is probably the one that I will have up for photos. Please keep in mind that your ones will be slightly different because I will have changed ever so slightly just things like where the font is. I'm not happy that that cuts off at the edge. It's fine for me, but I don't want to sell that in my store. So just little things like that will have been changed, just slight formatting anywhere that there's one where it like is a bit too close to the edge. I will have moved it. There'll be slight changes. They won't be, they won't be noticeable unless you were looking for them. Um, but yeah, it's just, just things to make the product more perfect, um, basically. So the 5K one will look exactly like this. You will have the option to have, <laughs> also, I'm going to jumble up. I'm going to change where they are, <laughs> where, the, where the values are, just so that anybody watching my channel, because obviously if you're keen on this product, it's probably because you're watching my channel. Do, like, I don't want to ruin it for them. 
Um, so if you see it on someone else's channel, it will be the same as yours. Um, so don't look if you don't want to know what's under the scratch off. If you see it on my channel, it's not the same. It's not going to be the same. So when you watch me do this binder, what I scratch off will not be the same as what you scratch off. I will have moved them around um, just because I just feel like that's a better experience for you guys is all. <laughs> that way you can still watch me do it if you want to watch me do mine without being spoiled as to where, like what value is going to be under what scratch off for you. I hope that makes sense. <clears throat> um so this is the 5k one which i'm sure you've all already seen if you're is if you're keen to get it obviously um it has 25 challenges which are also cash envelopes they are double-sided everything has a watercolor background um they will have um what was i going to say can't remember everything will obviously be in a binder every one of them will come with a little charm and then you will be able to choose, so the 25 in total in here, you will have the option as to whether you want the scratch off stickers or not. And you will have the option as to whether you want the little cards or not. These are not the little cards that will come with it. They will be slightly different uh, just because I feel like they'll be easier to handle if they're just a little bit bigger. The design on them will be the same. Sorry, you guys, my um, throat is playing up something shocking. Um... Yeah, so they'll just be a tiny bit different insofar as they'll just be a little bit bigger, but they'll still be, you know, the same design, same font, same pictures, um, same background. So these ones have the same watercolour background that matches the front and back cover of the um, of the binder. Whoops. Sorry, guys. Um, so, yeah, if you want to randomise like that, then, yeah, the cards will be an add-on as well. So this one has 20, 25, as I said, the two and a half thousand dollar one will be exactly the same as this. It will have all 25 challenges, just the values underneath will be different. Obviously, every challenge will save a lower amount, approximately half of what this one does. Um, and then you'll have a two and a half thousand dollar total. The one thousand dollar one will be different. The one thousand dollar one will be about half the size because it will only have 10 challenges in it. I'm so sorry, guys. My, I'm like losing my voice. <clears throat> it will only have 10 of the challenges in it. And then you'll still be able to choose whether or not you want scratch offs, whether or not you want the cards. You'll still get an IOU with it. Um, but yeah, it will just be the 10 challenges. Please check the Etsy description. You will not be able to choose which crystals go into the $1,000 one. So I will have it set as these specific challenges, these specific crystals will be in it. That won't be customizable. I won't be able to change it. Please do not put in an order and ask for different values or different crystals. I can't, I just can't do it. It's just so much work. Like what, what I've created already is so much work. What I'm going to do by going in and moving around the values, it just all, I know it, it probably, you're probably thinking, my God, woman, how hard can that possibly be? It's not even necessarily about the difficulty level of it. It's just time. It's just really, really time intensive. So I have worked out which ones of these will add up to a thousand because obviously not every challenge saves the same amount. I'll work out which ones add up to the thousand or I already have, and they will be the ones that are included in the thousand dollar binder. I will have them listed in the description because I probably won't have a thousand dollar binder made up yet. To put up in the photos so i'll have a list in the description so please 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 check the description if you are not okay if they are not the crystals that you want don't order that binder um is what i would say i'm not going to sell them separately at the moment because it's just going to be too much work i may do that down the line and then if you want to create your own like mix and match scenario go nuts um that'd be awesome but for now it's just going to be the 1k which will have 10 the two and a half K, which will have all the 25 and the five K, which will have all the 25 and then plus scratch offs or not plus the cards or not. Um, so yeah, that's what you're ordering. Just, I just want to be so clear. Um, cause I don't want anyone to be disappointed. I, and I wish I could, I wish I could offer further customization for you guys. I just, I, my intense desire is to allow you guys to customize everything so that it suits you. Unfortunately, that's not working for me like it's just um yeah it just adds to to far too much work in terms of the amount of time that it's taking me um and then it means that my business won't be viable 
um, I'll be better off going and getting a real job, which I don't want to do. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this is what is going up. It will be going up on Tuesday at 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. So that is Melbourne time. I will be listing them at 6 p.m. Once they are sold out, they are sold out for now. Please don't panic. They will be sold out for now, if they even sell out, okay? I don't, I just don't want anyone feeling like they have to rush and spend money that they don't have, or I don't want, I don't want anyone to feel pressured. Um, so I will list the amount of stock that I have for what I can make. And then if they sell out and they may well not, so please don't panic. But if they do, I will list them again. I will just get this batch done and made and then I will list more. And probably next time I list them, it won't be, I probably won't do it as a pre-order. I'm hoping that by the time I list them again, I'll be a little bit more in front. I'll know exactly how long they take me to make and I'll be able to, um, yeah, I'll be able to have them more ready to go. So the wait time will be smaller. So um, I hope that all makes sense. If you have any questions, please, I will be checking my comments. I do check my comments. I know I'm behind on replying to comments, but I do read them all. Um, so if you have any questions, please pop them down below or um, DM me on Instagram or message me on Etsy. So, um, but yeah, once they've gone up, they'll have gone up, then they'll be... Um, yeah, everyone will be able to grab whatever it is that they want. I don't actually know at this point in time how many I will have to put up. Um, I just have to do a stock take of everything that I've got. Um, so then I know how many I can make. I am still waiting on the scratch offs to come, but I'm confident they'll be here in time for me to have made all of them be ready to sticker up. So that won't be a problem. Um, yeah, so I'm, I can't tell you. I'm sorry. I can't tell you how many will be going up. I honestly don't know at this point. I haven't done my little stock take yet to work out how many binder clips I have, how many of these little thingies I have. Um, yeah, so uh, good luck if you are after one. I hope that you manage to get one. I am sorry, like, because when I put the Christmas binders up, I just did not expect that many people to jump on them that quickly. I really didn't think they'd sell out that so I'm so so grateful that they did if you ordered one you are wonderful and I love you dearly and I am terribly sorry to those that missed out I know there are a few of you waiting but yeah that will so that will go up as well at the same time so it'll be these ones and the Christmas binder um I would love to get the other scratch offs off at the same time just in case anybody wants you know wants to add them into their order um I'm just I'm just so conscious of how much postage costs so I know that a lot of you want to order things all together so that you're not paying postage multiple times and I completely understand that um because postage is expensive um and there's nothing I can do to decrease that price because it just is what it is um so I will I will see how I go I will definitely post on Instagram on Tuesday morning and let you know whether or not they're going up as well. Um, and I will also do a community post. I'm just going to make sure I'm still recording properly. Oh, all good. Oh my goodness. I've been blabbering for nearly 15 minutes already. Um, I'll do a community post on YouTube as well. Okay. So without further ado, let's get on to, and I'm just thinking what I have to unstuff. Let's get on to unstuffing. So first of all, we're going to unstuff school. Um, I am going to take that $100 out of there. Uh, am I? No, I'm going to take $120 out. Uh, because, and I will be, I will be restuffing this hopefully by the end of the week, if not the following week, um, because I will fund, I will fund this, but I just wanted this to accurately reflect what's currently in there. So I did spend a hundred and I think it was $118. So we can take out 120 um, on some new lunch boxes for all three of my kids, a new drink bottle. Um, the ones that I've been eyeing off for a little while went on sale this week. And funnily enough, at the same time, the lunchbox that my youngest daughter is using, which, which is like the lunchbox that my oldest daughter has used um, all through primary school. So kudos to it for lasting so long. Um, the pin came out, I can't fix it. So it can't, it won't stay shut. Um, so I did buy them all the new lunch boxes that I had been eyeing off, which should give me a little bit more freedom in terms of what I, I am sending them to school with, which I love. Um, so that is that, but we, yeah, hopefully we'll be restuffing that next week. 
um, to get it kind of back up to almost where it was, close to, if not at where it was. And then we are unstuffing Family Fun. Uh oh. We are unstuffing all of it. $20, $40, and $60. And we are also going to make up for a little bit of overspending um, in today's budget um, because we headed out. Um, we headed out yesterday uh, to spend some time with my brother and my sister-in-law. Uh, they're not married, so, I mean, sister-in-law, their technicality. She's my sister. Um, I love her dearly. Um, we went yesterday and played mini golf with them. It was so fun, you guys. It was so fun. And not just because I managed to, I didn't manage to beat my brother, which, let's face it, was a little bit disappointing. But we did tie for first, so that was exciting. Um, yeah, no, but it was just a really good day out. It was so much fun. Um, and it was really good. We haven't caught, it's been way too long since we caught up with them. We do not see them nearly as often as we should, which is silly. Um, but the kids had a ball. It was so good. We went, yeah, we went and did 18 holes of mini golf, um, which took like a lot longer than any of us expected, I think. Um, but yeah, it was great fun. If you haven't done mini golf in a while, highly recommend. Um, it wasn't cheap, but I mean, like there's five of us, so nothing's cheap. Um, I suppose comparatively, like compared to like going to the movies or going bowling, it probably was cheap to be fair. Um, but yeah, it was like, I think $74 for all five of us. So we went and did that and it was a beautiful day yesterday. It was really nice and sunny. And then, um, and then they took us for lunch to a dumpling place that they love, um, which was awesome because my kids all love dumplings. So does the hubby. Uh, I could take or leave them, but um, I'm happy enough to eat them. So um, it was really, really nice. And they shouted us lunch, which was just the nicest thing ever, especially considering there's two of them and five of us. Um, it was really, really generous of them. So um, yeah, so it was well, well worth money spent. It was a beautiful day. And that's exactly what we have that envelope for. So that when things like that pop up, we can be like, yep, hundred percent. We want to do that. Um, you know, before this, I would have been scrambling to find that money in the budget or just pulling it out of somewhere that, you know, it shouldn't be pulled out of. Whereas we've been putting that money away, which means it's there ready to go, which is so awesome. So today we have unstuffed 120, 40, 60, 70, $80 from our cash envelopes. Um, so that is that. Then what are we going to do next? Next, we will do our little, our little roundup challenge. We have had a spendy week, you guys. So we have $5.89 in there. And what are we up to? $97. I will speed this up. Okay, and then 0.16, that's good. So we've got a good start on that one. Um, that will be nice to, so we've already finished it one time. Um, we, yeah, we're gonna aim to finish it five times. But we'll see how we go, I might get sick of it before then. <laughs> Either way, I'll still let it go. I'll still let it accrue in our account. It's just whether or not I'll track it like that. Um, Cause it's just an easy way to save little bits of money here and there. I suppose like a lot of people do their rollover in cash, but I don't do our grocery spending and all that sort of thing in cash. So I don't have that rollover cause I don't physically go to the supermarket often at all. Um, because things happen like I'll dislocate a shoulder while I'm pushing a trolley and then I'll be in trouble for weeks. Um, <laughs> oh dear. Okay. So You've got to laugh, guys. You've got to laugh in life. Otherwise, you cry, right? Um, okay, so we're doing our weekly check-in. It is ugly this week, you guys. So we started with 157 in groceries. Uh, we didn't add to it. Uh-oh, we spent $544. Oh, my God, what happened? Uh, so we are backwards. 387 77 Ugh. We're putting a chunk of money into that today. I have done some shopping for this week, but not all of the shopping for this week, which makes me really very sad. We seem to be out of sync with our paychecks. Like we've spent a whole extra week somewhere along the line and we're just constantly playing catch up. So I'm, I'm gonna have to do something about that. Uh, this is not the month that I'm gonna be able to do something about that because uh, of the car insurance debacle. Um, so it is what it is. It is what it is. We need groceries, so 
Uh, this is also ugly. So we started with nothing in takeaway. We added $65. We spent $170.30. Um, there is a reason for that. <laughs> that is because we had an issue um, where something ceased living <clears throat> in our roof right above our stove, which made our stove unusable um for a day or two um so we only realized it late on friday so takeaway was kind of the only option um we have worked out a workaround using a few other appliances now. <laughs> um so it should be fine and it should be fine to use from today so it's all good um but yeah look it's just one of life's little things this i mean i could have this is something that i would ordinarily take out of our buffer or our mojo or something to cover it i don't want to i'm just going to cover it with this week's paycheck um i've just rejigged we're going to be cash stuffing a little less this week so that i can cover the overspending that we've done there and i'm cool with it you guys i'm cool with it it's fine it is yeah it is what it is it was one of those things that was completely out of our hands so what are you going to do uh so we had 111 24 in petrol we spent 93.90 and we uh have 17 dollars 34 left over i did why did i just do a dollar sign there i don't normally do that um i did mess up last week's petrol i said i thought i had and i had i didn't add in like i had already added in what i added last week so i'm not adding it this week like to here because I added it into last week's tally because I had filled up that day. Um, so, yeah, but that's accurate now. <clears throat> so, uh, chemist, we had 40. We added 10. We spent nothing yet, but I do have to go to the chemist. So that'll probably happen this week um, because I need some stuff for me and I need some to replenish our cold and flu type medications. Um, it does feel like spring is coming, you guys. It does feel like spring is on the way. The first calla lilies are coming out in our front garden, which is so pretty. And there are blossoms blossoming. All the wattle near us is coming out, which is so pretty, but so not cool uh, for my face <laughs> because wattle makes me sneeze, gives me itchy eyeballs, all of the things. Um, but it's still nice. It still feels nice. It's so nice and sunny at the moment. Um, so our income that we are working with this week is $1,785, uh, which is our income after we have taken out rent. Um, we're not doing any fixed expenses from this paycheck. What we are doing is groceries, which is getting $790. I mean, that's not going to last us a fortnight, is it? I'm aware. You're aware. I'm probably going to have to take some out of next week's paycheck to top it up, I think. But look, we'll see how we go. Uh, I think I'm going to try and shop our pantry um, and all that kind of jazz. Uh, so takeaway is getting 106. All that is going to do is clear what we overspent last week. So we're not going to have any budget for takeaway this week, uh, which I'm fine with. Spending is getting 20. So 10 for me, 10 for hubby. Um, now I spent some money on our dogs and on Bluebell this week um so for Belle it wasn't actually directly for her it's just some storage that I bought from Kmart to go underneath her cage because there's like a yeah there's like a shelf underneath her cage and there's heaps of space it's really tall so I just bought a couple of modular drawers to go in there and for the doggies um my beautiful baby my oldest baby has scratched her collar to death so she needed a new collar so I got one of those so in total between those two things was $90 um family fun so this would have been ordinarily cash stuffed this week, um, but I'm not going to cash stuff that. I'm just putting it here because it has to go back to the bank because we've already spent it. So um, that was 14 because that covers the rest of what we spent on the weekend, when uh, on the weekend, yesterday, while we were out. I've just realized I've not, did I zoom you in before? Oh no, I did. Never mind. Um, okay. So that in total is 1,055. That wasn't very good, was it? Uh, so we have 730 left. Then we have cash envelopes, which are getting 350. Uh, mini Mondays, which will be getting 40 this week. Woohoo! And savings challenges, which is getting 50. So in total, we have 440 in our cash envelopes, which leaves us with 290 which is going to our Visa card for its payment this month. And that is our 
zero based budget for the week. Ta-da! Um, yay! So, if you have managed to stick with me all the way to the end of this video, oh, well done, because I feel like I blabbed a lot at the start about the Etsy stuff. Um, but yeah, so please remember they're going up. They will be live on Tuesday, Australian Eastern Standard Time. Um, I don't know what that date is. This is the 13th of August? I think so. Tuesday the 13th? Um, that feels unlucky. <laughs> Um, at 6 p.m. That will go up at 6 p.m. Okay. Um, and like I said, please don't stress. If you do happen to miss out and you do want it, if you haven't saved enough money for it yet, whatever it may be, um, they will be coming back, guys. I promise they will come back. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's all. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, and I will see you tomorrow for mini Mondays. Woohoo! Let's see if we can finish up some challenges. Um, I hope you have a beautiful week. Okay, love you guys. Bye-bye.